Hi, it's Mr. Benson here with a quick video on similar figures. So this is following up from uh, the previous video on congruence. Now you might remember that congruence is when two figures are completely identical, so their size and shape are exactly the same. Uh, similar is, um, dare I say similar to that, but slightly different. When we're talking about similar figures, we mean figures that are identical in shape but different in size. Um, and so this is often when you have one figure that's enlarged or reduced, um, so the object can be enlarged to make a larger image or it could be reduced to make a smaller image. And examples of this are you know, plans of houses where the plan is the image and the house itself would be the object. Um, now, for two similar figures, the difference is the difference in size, obviously, and it's a regular difference in size for all the sides of the figure because the shape is the same. So we have a scale factor, and so this is what uh, you started the chapter with in 5a. So the scale factor is just the length of the image divided by the length of the object. And if two shapes are, um, are similar, we can write that with this uh, squiggly symbol here. So this is saying A is similar to B. Now there is actually a symbol for congruence as well that I didn't include in my previous video. Um, and I'll show you that another time. Okay, so similar triangles, um, again, triangles are a simple shape, so it's good if you can figure out how to assess the similarity of triangles, and then you can combine triangles to make more complex shapes. Um, so as I've said, similar triangles, all corresponding angles are the same, and the ratio of their corresponding sides is the same, and I'll show you what I mean by that. When we look at these two triangles, we can see that the uh, the hypotenuse of this one is five centimeters long, and the hypotenuse of the smaller triangle is two and a half centimeters. Now, when I write the ratio of those two sides, so five over two and a half, um, I get the value of two. Now, um, let's look at the other sides as well. So we look at this side: four over two equals two. And for this one, 3 over 1.5 equals 2. So I'm getting a constant ratio here. Now, if this was an enlargement from our object over here to our image here, then we would say that our scale factor is um, 2. Now, um, you've probably figured out that if a scale factor is greater than 1, we're making something bigger, and if it's less than 1, we're making something smaller. Now, obviously, if it was the other way around, and we were going from a big object to a small image, these ratios would just be flipped up the other way. So it would be um, the size of the image over the size of the object. But the main thing I want you to appreciate from this slide is that this ratio is the same for all sides. So this is showing that these two um, figures are similar. So moving on to some tests for similarity, um, a, a lot like the ones for congruence. Uh, the first one is angle, angle, angle. Now if you've got three corresponding angles um, for a triangle that are the same, then they must have the same shape. Um, now. Of course, if, two, if triangles are congruent, then they will have the same um, three angles as well, but they will also have the same size. So similar triangles have the same angles but different size. Um, one thing to remember as well with triangles is because we know that the total um, of the three angles adds up to 180 degrees, we don't actually need to know all three. As long as we know two of the corresponding angles, we can figure out the, what the third one is. So even if we didn't know that this was 30 and that this was 30, um, we'd be able to work that out from the other two angles to establish that they were similar. Um, the next test for similarity, um, I've already explained this one, which is where the ratio of the corresponding sides is the same. Um, and so I've shown you that uh, in the slide just before, where you just take the ratio of, um, the, of, of the corresponding sides, make sure you do it the right way around each time. So, um, you know, if this is your image and this is your object, You've just got to make sure that your ratio is going to be the image value divided by the object value and that you do that consistently. So if they are all the same, your triangles are similar. Um, moving on again, um, the next test is side angle side. So two corresponding sides have the same ratios and one corresponding angle is the same. 
And a special case um, of this is for right angle triangles. So right angle hypotenuse side. Um, so the ratio of the hypotenuse and one other side um, is constant and they are both right angle triangles so they both have, both have that 90 degree angle in them. So those are your tests for similarity you just need to uh, identify the triangles now remember that um, although they're similar they can also be um, rotated and they can be reflected and things like that which may make them look a little bit different um, so you just have to be careful to match up the corresponding sides and angles correctly Check your ratios and you should be able to establish similarity.